Hello tacticians, I'm Nicolas, game designer on Lord of the Rings Rise to War, and I'm back with you today with a new uh, Devs in the Tavern episode to discuss precisely what season two is going to be. Before moving to season two, players will be freely able to choose between a chaos realignment theme or roleplay theme. Uh, when this is possible to do so, a new feature will appear in the main interface. The roleplay server will add new content, so new commander, new unit, new equipment, but not include the new features related to the Chaos Realignment theme, which means that there will still be a strict separation between good and evil commanders and unit. Among the commanders that will appear in Season 2, some are coming straight from the books, while some will be original commanders. Let us take a look at the evil side first. Uh, Adune is a black Numenorean, uh, the right hand of the Witch King of Engmar himself. Zegrid is a Dunlending chieftain that wants to wreak havoc on Rohan in revenge for his people. Beruthiel is a former queen of Gondor in exile, who some say can communicate with cats. On the good side, we have Imrahil, the prince of Dol Amrath, who helped Aragorn in retaking Minas Tirith with his swan knights. Uh, Eladan, one of the twin sons of Elrond himself, who is also close to Aragorn because Aragorn grew up in Rivendell. Uh, Thorin, yes, yes, Thorin himself, Thorin Oakenshield. Not quite sure if he needs an introduction, but he's the one who, with the help of Gandalf, and Bilbo Baggins went on the quest of Erebor and successfully retook the Lonely Mountain. As for the uh, new units that players will be able to recruit in Season 2, we will have uh, four new um, neutral units. First, the Dunlendings, uh, one man of Dunland who chose to help the evil forces of Middle-earth. The War Beasts, massive animals that we can see in the movie uh, dragging the enchanted battering ram, Grand, to uh, destroy the gate of Minas Tirith. On the good side we have the Hobbit Hunters, uh, very courageous hobbits who train in the art of the bow uh, and are not afraid of anything. The Bree Riders, um, cavalry units especially suited to fend off the witchcraft of their northern neighbor, Angmar. Players, in this case, will be able to recruit both good and evil commanders, which means that no matter the side that they join in Season 1, in Season 2 they will still be able to use the commanders that they previously recruited. As for units, um, they will still be able to um, use both good and evil units, but with some limitations. We will have a moral system in place. Uh, and because of this situation, uh, players will also be able to change the side of the Tavern Tips reward uh, to tend to the good side or the evil side, depending on which items that they require. So if a good commander leads an army of evil troops, or if an evil commander leads an army of good troops, the whole army will suffer a damage penalty. In this case, this can be counterbalanced to an extent by the new ring text. The number of commanders and unit types that players can recruit from the opposite side will also be limited, and this limit can be pushed by the new ring text as well. So in order for the players to recruit uh, units from the other side, they will first need to build an embassy in their settlement. So a good embassy if you're evil, or an evil embassy if you're good. Uh, then, for every specific unit line, uh, players will need to build barracks outside of the settlements on the tiles that they have conquered. Upgrading those barracks on the map will upgrade the corresponding unit lines. Uh, if this barracks is destroyed, uh, you keep those units, the, the units that you already have recruited. It's just that you cannot recruit more of them. It works exactly the same way uh, as the neutral unit and their neutral camp. Uh, you also keep your barracks upgrade level, 
So for example, if you rebuild uh, a barrack after being destroyed, uh, it will automatically be at the same upgrade level as previously. So in practice, you don't lose much. Today we have new questions coming from our Discord players. Let's see what they are and the answers, of course. Okay. So this player's name is Raven M. Question is, are there any plans for additional ways to create a unique player profile in any way? Will there ever be more icons or ways to make a profile more unique? Well, Mr. Raven M, you're in luck because we have a new uh, profile picture coming. Uh, so we will reveal a little bit more later um, uh, a little bit closer to the release of those of those uh, of this content, but I can definitely assure you that there will be more uh, uh, ways to customize your profile. Next one. The player's name is uh, Faro Morn. Question is, will there be any plans for different kinds or different looking tiles on the map? Um, with Season 2, since we will introduce those new uh, neutral units, they will have uh, different tiles, uh, uh, corresponding tiles, different um, neutral camps to unlock them. There will also be new tiles to discover, but I cannot say much more than that, actually. You will have to uh, discover them by yourself. Next one is septic flesh. <laughs> the question is, um, will you be adding heroes from previous ages? Maybe. We will see. Uh, but yeah, there is uh, not uh, such limitation. So uh, maybe uh, heroes uh, who lived in previous ages will come to the game. Uh, you will have to discover this in due time. Okay, last one. Let's see. Player is Leech BR. Question is, since all commanders will be available for all factions, what about the units and neutral camps? Will good factions able to conscript evil units and higher units from evil camp? Uh, well, yes, yes, it will be possible because, uh, like I just said, um, in the um, if you choose in season two the chaos realignment theme. Uh, your commanders, uh, you will be able to have good and evil ones, and so the units as well, you will be able to recruit good and evil units, and that includes the neutral units as well. You will be able to uh, capture the neutral camps of the opposite side, and that will, be, that will be okay. You will be able to unlock those units afterwards and use them in your army. Well, that's the end of the Q&A for today. Thank you for your questions, and if you have more, please keep them coming on our social media. We also want to thank you for game suggestions and feedback uh, that we see, that we read, and we consider everything. So please also keep them coming. Uh, we hope that in season two, you can continue to make your own story with your friends in um, the Waben or fellowships that you wish to join. And that's it for today. Thanks so much. Bye-bye and until next time.